What's up guys, it is me here, One-Eyed Agent, and today I'm coming at you guys with another weekly update. Uh, yeah, so don't have a whole lot to show you, but some exciting things I've been working on. Um, sorry the video is a little late. Uh, I was, yeah, my videos are always late, but <laughs> um, sorry for that, guys. And yeah, so uh, the last video I uploaded was a question about my uh, Abrams that I'm making, M1 A1 Abrams tank, um, and I got a lot of comments on that, and thank you guys so much for the support, um, but there is, you know, an equal amount of each saying double the treads or keep the treads the same, um, so I haven't decided on that yet, uh, what I'm gonna do, um, but, yeah, if you haven't, uh, commented on that video, go ahead and check it out, or you can comment on this video, I'll show you the tank, because uh, I have done some stuff on it. But, uh, anyway, this is a minifigure, I, I, I'm, I like this design, it's just simple and plain, um, but I want to make kind of an army of these, because uh, I think that would be cool. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I've been working on some custom minifigures, and I'm actually really excited about that, so I keep mentioning it. But this is the Abrams. Um, as you can see, I did some stuff on the turret, and it's looking really nice. Um, but, yeah, it's still... I can't, like, do the two-lane treads right now. But this is what I was talking about, the question. Oh, and the front's not done. I have to fix that. That's ugly. Okay. <laughs> the back. Um, it's one tread lane wide, or, yeah, whatever you would call it. Uh, do you guys think I should make it two, or keep it the same? Um, and this is what I was talking about in the last video that I made. But, uh, so far I love the trick turret. It's coming out super awesome. Um, as you guys can see, I've done, I like the details on it, so. Um, but yeah, moving on, I'll go ahead and, oh, that was an antenna. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys the, um, custom minifigures. So, I've been using a really, like, uh, powerful glue, I guess you could say. And that's why it's kind of, this is kind of the rough draft, but I made a custom uh, something SG. Uh, it's from Battlefield, so uh, Battlefield 3 and 4. Uh, they have it in both but I'm not exactly 100% sure what the full name is. But um, I really like how this minifigure is turning out. He's going to be uh, painted either by me or someone else. Um, but he's got this super epic uh, wire right here, which is real metal. It's um, I use twisty, like the metal inside the twisties. I got that and put it there. And I needed high-powered super glue to put that on. Um, cause actually, uh, the super glue actually melts the plastic together or whatever object you're putting on. Um, but yeah, so the gun is super epic. I kind of redid this stock and I put the laser sight as well as this, uh, wire going into the gun where they would turn on the laser sight. But I still, as you guys can see, it's kind of rough and whatnot. So I'll fix up that, um but I've got to figure out some ways to do that. So if you guys have any tips or suggestions on making custom minifigures, uh, please comment down below. Um, and yeah, so this is the first guy. And then the second guy, uh, I haven't done anything. I'm kind of making a faction, I guess you could say. I'm not sure what the name, if that's the name. Uh, but this is an M417 as well from Battlefield, um, which they have the Brick Arms one. But this one, I changed the stock. Let me get the brick arms one. Uh, okay. So this is the brick arms one. But, um, of course, you guys are kind of familiar with this one if you have brick arms. And uh, so I took off the suppressor, and I redid the barrel, took off the scope, and then I redid the stock here. So uh, I think it looks really nice. And then there's the painted. I actually didn't do that, but... Um, yeah, so tell me guys what you think of so far the guns. Um, I haven't, like, completed them. Let me get this so you can get close. There we go. 
Uh, I haven't completed the guns. I still have to put sights on them. This I'll probably put a holographic sight. Or maybe just iron sights because I kind of like the way it looks right now. But, um, like I said, these figures are not done. So, yeah. Anyway, I think that's about it for this weekly update. One more thing before I go, actually. I haven't worked on the World War II town. Um, and, yeah, so I just have, like, ideas in the back of my head, but I can't. I keep running into problems with those ideas and designs and whatnot. So that's kind of why it's been uh, in the same. Nothing has changed, really. Uh, oh, and I also made this little mock here. Um, and it's not like I threw a bunch of bricks on there. This side was complete, but or almost complete, and the wall was. But the other side wasn't, so. Um, I did make a post of flick. Uh, photo on Flickr, so go check that out, guys. Uh, if you don't know how Flickr, link will be in the description to that, so go check it out. Um, you actually get to see a lot of stuff that you don't always get to see on YouTube or before it goes on YouTube, so I'm more active uh, on Flickr, kind of, sometimes. Um, but, yeah, so um, thanks for watching this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for your support, and it's been awesome. Uh, this awesome journey with you guys. I'm almost at 600 s subscribers. I think I'm like four something subscribers away from 500 subscribers. Um, so I'll be holding a contest soon, maybe somewhere around 600, just because I still haven't figured out the prizes. And Christmas is coming up, so I can, you know, get the prizes and whatnot. So, but yeah, thanks again for all your support, guys. And uh, don't forget to tell me your suggestions or tips on minifigs. And tell me what you think of the custom minifigs. Um, so, yeah. And the Abrams. <laughs> uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.